testing. Let's look at the different types of mine planning that are conducted in most mining operations. Let's start in the short term. The simple, straightforward, day-to-day -day mine plan, which tends to look at uh, exact location and utilisation of trucks. Um, it's concerned with the amount of material that's going to be put onto the ROM pad, how much waste and where that waste is going to go, um, cutoff grades. If we look then at the operational mine plan, the operational mine plan tends to also look at tons. It will look at um, the movement of trucks, uh, excavators, um, utilization of those. It's going to look at the cutoff grades and it's going to be also interested in the recoveries percentages that are going to be coming through, uh, particularly for hard rock. What's interesting is traditionally most mining organisations have done life of mine plans as their key strategy, which they've used to inform operational plans and subsequently day-to-day -day plans. What they've not done is optimised. Now that means that we've not really had the opportunity to find over the life of the mine within the existing constraints and the existing variables of a particular mine what the opportunities are to, if you like, leverage value. So let's say that there are a couple of opportunities which we've identified. If we don't have and haven't completed an optimization of the life of mine plan, then we won't know what opportunities there are above and beyond anything operational. That means, of course, that we're not actually informing our operational mine plans with information around these opportunities, and they can be significant. In what we've seen in the experience of Whittle Consulting is they can be 5 to 35% of MPV uplift against the base case life of mine plan. So if we're wanting to do this properly, what we're suggesting is that we we actually optimise the plan, the life of mine plan, and then we take these opportunities and bring them down into the operational plans and then bring them into the day-to-day -day plans. Now, that's what enterprise optimization is all about.